when I talk to companies about change, what one thing is people, oh, change is hard. People don't like change. Uh, actually, I, what we say is, no, that's, that's not true. We need to redefine that parameter. The parameter is uh, people like outcomes, right? So they can agree on what it is that we're supposed to be doing in the future. What they don't like is the black box of ambiguity. So we know where we are, where we are today. We know where we want to get to. It's that somewhere in between that journey, um, which is ambiguous, right? We don't know exactly how we're going to get there. We know things are going to change. Every time we take a step into the future, it becomes the past and the future changes. Let's talk about uh, the black box of ambiguity. The big idea is we don't fear the destination. We fear the journey. I've recommended this book to multiple people, the, uh, the, the Fat Smoker, Strategy and the Fat Smoker. And basically... David Meister's point is we all know what it is that we're trying to get to. And, we, and actually, many of us know how we can get there, like what, what it is we're supposed to be doing to get there. So why is it that we don't do it, right? Why is it that the fat smoker, you don't need to tell the fat smoker that they need to lose weight and stop smoking. Um, they know that. So what is, where's the breakdown that happens in between? And what we can take away from that when we're building our vision of 2018, like why was it that I was able to have a good year back with that art subject story. And it was because I had such a clear focus. Um, if you can hear me shuffling, those are my, my cards I'm, I'm playing with. We have such a clear focus. We could, uh, I had such a clear focus. Art did a few things that I don't know if he did it on purpose, but it certainly has become part of what I teach when I'm helping people work on a strategic vision that people can actually get excited about. It's one thing to say, this is, uh, you know, this year, my best year ever is making $250,000. And I want to make next year my best year ever. So to do that, I need to make $300,000, right? So that's $50,000 more. That's a huge increase um, on, a, on a pretty substantial income. What do I have to do, right, uh, is, the, is the question most of us ask. But before we get too much further, the question that I usually start asking is around that destination. Let's talk about what it is that you'll do when you get there. So let's build out the vision of the future and uh, what it is that you need to start doing January 1st or before then to make sure that these things happen. And uh, as we did that, as I said at the very beginning, there's uh, some reasons why it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked for me and it hasn't worked for others. And as I dug into why is it that why did it work so well that first time and not as well other times? It's worked uh, as well in uh, at various times, but why was that first time so special? And one of the things that I came up with or came that came to me as I thought about this was momentum, right? And uh, you've heard me talk about momentum. You've heard everybody talk about momentum, but what is it that provides for momentum and what it is is uh, the secret is resources. So without sufficient resources you can't build momentum without momentum you can't overcome the obstacles that are going to keep you from your best year ever and with an obstacle any obstacle that jumps in your way when you have limited momentum and limited resources knocks you off track and that's how you wake up december 30th and think uh you know i didn't come anywhere close to where i thought i was going to be as this year went out so